Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you another method for long division. Yesterday we did the place value sections method. Today we are doing the expanded notation method. And this method um, is set up a little differently than yesterday. Instead of a rectangle, we're just going to use a traditional long division bar and put the dividend on the inside and the divisor on the outside. And then I've been telling my students along the side of our whiteboards to be putting um, kind of the main three steps of long division, which is to divide, multiply, and then subtract. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the divide. And the first thing we're asking is how many fours can fit into 2,956? So we're really thinking of this as how many four hundreds, kind of like we did yesterday. We're just going to go ahead and add the zeros. And instead of asking about this big number, how many can fit, let's just ask how many fours can fit into 29. Since we know four can't fit into the first digit, which is two, that's too small. We're going to think of how many fours can fit into 29. And in this case, that would be seven of them. Okay, so that's the division step. And we're gonna go ahead and put a check mark to show we've divided. And now we're gonna go ahead and multiply. And when we multiply, we're taking up that 700 that we wrote on top and multiplying it by the four to figure out how much left we have to divide up. So this would be seven times four, which is 28. And then we'll add the two zeros from the 700. And that was the multiply step. And now we're gonna subtract and figure out what we have left. And now we've got a six, five, one, 156 left. That's a subtract step. So since we have some left over, we've got to divide again. And now we're asking how many groups of 10 fours can fit into 156. And again, this number is a little bit large, so let's just focus on the 15. Since we know four cannot fit into one, we're just gonna ask how much is 15 divided by four? And 15 divided by four, that would be three. Good. Then we're gonna go ahead and take that division step, check it off, and now we've got 30 times four. So we're going to multiply that 30 that we just wrote on top by the four on the outside, and we should get 120. And that was the multiply step. So I've been telling students to kind of check it off one by one so you know what's coming next. And then the last thing we're going to do is subtract, and we should get a six in the ones place and a three in the tens place. And now we're gonna go ahead and check off that we subtracted and figure out what comes next. So we get down to the bottom of the steps and we're gonna go back up and divide again and ask how many fours now can fit into 36. And we can just think of it as 36 because it's the ones place. And that would be nine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check off my divide. And now I'm gonna multiply nine times four, which is 36. And I multiplied and now I'm going to subtract to finish up. And we should end up with a remainder of zero for most of these problems that we are practicing today. And that's the last of the steps. So the last thing I'm gonna do though is I've got my answer written in the expanded notation up here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and write it in standard notation. So just write how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones. So it really becomes 700 plus 30 plus nine. And we're kind of dividing those all up to get a final quotient of 739. Okay, thanks for tuning in today. Um, I know these methods are pretty complicated, so I appreciate you guys watching the videos to get some help. Bye guys, I'll see you next time.